From 5 News, I'm meteorologist Stephen Elmore. This is your 5 Plus extended forecast. If you've noticed today, if you've just been outside at all today, it's much cooler outside. That secondary cold front came in. That brought the cooler air. And now we're going to be in this cooler pattern really throughout the rest of this week. Later on this week, around Tuesday night into Wednesday, we could see a few of those stray showers starting to work their way in. Very low rain chances during the middle part of this week. Going to keep temperatures pretty mild. And the good news is, Another cold front is coming in by the time we're going into this upcoming weekend. Waking up tomorrow morning, Northwest Arkansas, upper 50s, low 60s, River Valley, mid to upper 60s. Very comfortable start to our Tuesday as everybody's heading back to work and everybody's heading back to school after the holiday for today. Happy Labor Day, by the way. Daytime highs for our Tuesday tomorrow. It's going to get even cooler, even more comfortable outside, right? Temperatures reaching up into those upper 70s and low 80s across northwest Arkansas. I think tomorrow we have a really good chance of seeing more of those upper 70s than we do those low 80s. Winds coming from the north northwest helping continue to bring that cooler air in. Across the River Valley, temperatures more than likely going to see a lot of those low 80s for tomorrow. But the good news is, is that we don't have much in the way of that humidity. So our heat index values and our actual temperatures are actually going to start to be closer together. If not the same, that trend should be getting even better as we get deeper and deeper into fall. Here's a look at our dew point values for tomorrow. Again, this is the humidity outside overall. Very comfortable dew point values only into those upper 50s and low 60s. This is going to be the start of this comfortable trend really throughout the rest of this week and into this upcoming weekend. Again, tomorrow we're going to see the heat index values very very close, if not the same, to our actual temperatures. It should feel like we're in those low to mid 80s during that peak heating hour for tomorrow. Here's a look at future cast. A little bit more cloud coverage starting to build in for our Tuesday, right? That's going to hang around for most of the day. But Tuesday night going into Wednesday, some models suggesting that we could see some of these scattered showers. I think this model may be overdoing it just a bit. But overall, Wednesday morning before that sun comes up, we could see some scattered showers out there. As you head out the door Wednesday morning, maybe some wet roads as well, if not a few of those scattered showers still left over. Here's a look at our temperature trend. Again, cooler air is going to be filtering in, going to be seeing a very comfortable trend over the next several days. And again, that next cold front coming by the time we get to this upcoming weekend, that's going to keep temperatures even cooler outside temperatures dropping back down into those upper 70s. So here's a look at the daytime highs throughout the rest of the week. We get to start. We start to build in some humidity back into the forecast by the time we get closer towards mid later on into the week. But temperatures still staying into those low 80s. Here's that next cold front coming in for the weekend. Temperatures drop back down into those mid to upper 70s. By the time we get to Monday, temperatures start warming up once again across the River Valley. I think the warmest temperatures we'll see this week are going to be somewhere around to those mid to upper 80s. We're going to see those heat index values pretty close to that. I think towards the end of the week, we could see some heat index values close to the low 90s. And that next cold front comes in for Saturday and heading into Sunday. Temperatures drop right back down into those low 80s for a very comfortable and very nice looking weekend as it stands right now. Not looking at a lot of those rain chances. Here's a look at those morning temperatures waking up. And this is where we start to get into the time of the year. We have to decide, do I need that light jacket as you head out the door? Temperatures starting off into those low 60s throughout most of this upcoming week. By the time we get to the weekend, if you're not sleeping in, if you're heading out the door either Saturday or Sunday pretty early in the morning, you might need that light jacket. Temperatures starting off into those low to mid 50s across the River Valley. We'll see those upper 60s throughout the rest of this work week. By the time we get to the weekend, waking up in the morning hours to those upper 50s and low 60s for a very comfortable start. Here's a look at our temperature trend. Again, that, neck, that secondary cold front came in yesterday, bringing the cool air. Now we're going to be mild throughout most of this upcoming week, but then you'll also notice when the second cold front comes in towards Friday into Saturday, more cooler air is starting to filter in across the central United States and the East Coast. That's going to feel really nice heading into the, this weekend. Rain chances again peaking around the middle part of this week. I think Tuesday night into Wednesday is our next best chance of some of those scattered showers, but really Wednesday, Thursday, it looks like the day that we're going to be seeing the greatest chances of seeing some of those scattered showers. I don't think any 
day this upcoming week is widespread showers or any chance of severe weather. I think mostly we're just going to see a few of these scattered showers here and there and then Wednesday, Thursday during the day part hours, Tuesday night into Wednesday. Most likely you'll just be waking up Wednesday morning with some wet roads. Rain chances. The good news is start to taper off towards the end of the week. Friday is still the question mark right now of if we see those showers more in the morning hours or towards the afternoon to the evening. We'll be working on that as we get a little bit closer. Of course, now that we're back into football season, high school football games this Friday. This past Friday, we had some showers in the area. Hopefully we can avoid that as we head into the next weekend. By the time we get to the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, we look dry and we look much cooler after that second cold front pushes through. Throughout the rest of this week, again, with low rain chances, nothing widespread. We're not going to see a whole lot of rainfall, but it's definitely uh, going to start to total up once we get closer towards the end of the week. Anywhere between a half inch up to an inch is what this model has for us the rest of this week. That'll do us good because right now our drought monitor looks great outside of a few spots across northwest Arkansas that are listed into that dry zone, not even the level one zone. So we're doing okay so far. Here's a look at that drought monitor just across northwest Arkansas, Benton County, Carroll County, northern Washington County, and northern Madison County have that level zero, that dry zone for us. The rest of five country not even listed on the drought monitor. We've had abnormally wet summer so far and heading into the fall season now. We're starting off on a good note and rainfall this week is going to help us out. If you noticed yesterday or you saw on social media or you heard us talking about it, yesterday was the start of what's called meteorological fall. So what exactly is that? Are we in fall now? Uh, not technically. By the time we get into the next couple weeks, that's when the first day of fall is going to be. Really what this means is this is how meteorologists, weather forecasters keep track of weather record tracking. Uh, it's kind of a weird thing that you only hear when uh, we get into these seasons. What it means, though, is that we've reached our peak average temperatures. The rest of the year should be going downhill now, especially starting to feel that cooler air as we get closer to full closer towards fall. Astronomical fall or uh, uh, the equinox is going to be coming by the time we get to September 22nd. September 23rd will be the first day. For us back here at home, what we'll start noticing is once we get closer towards mid late October, that's when our colors start to show with those leaves. I think with how much rainfall that we've seen uh, so far this summer, again, abnormally wet summer, and now heading into the first couple weeks of fall with some more rain chances and cooler air. I think right now we have some really good chances of seeing some vibrant colors. Most likely uh, we'll see definitely those yellows, those oranges. We'll get have to see if we get lucky enough to get some of those red colors to start to pop, uh, but definitely all signs pointing to right now that we could see some vibrant colors by the time we get to mid late October. Northwest Arkansas over the next 10 days, temperatures pretty mild, only into those low 80s. By the time we get towards the end of the week, temperatures start to warm up just a bit, we start to work in some more of that mugginess with more of those rain chances. But then we get into the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, that next cold front comes in. That's going to drop temperatures to the mid to upper 70s and lots of sunshine. So if you're curious about what you want to plan for the weekend right after Labor Day. You started off work with only a four-day weekend. Good news is you're going into a weekend with temperatures already into the upper 70s and plenty of sunshine. Early look at next week. Temperatures still pretty mild outside, only into those low to mid 80s. May see a few of those rain chances start to sneak back in. Across the River Valley, temperatures into the low to mid 80s over the next couple of days. Thursday, Friday, temperatures start to peak up once again, back up into those upper 80s again for Friday right now, I think for the most part, we're okay. If you're wondering about high school football or if you just have plans Friday night outdoors, we'll hang on to a very low chance of a pop-up shower, but the timing of that, we'll still work on that over the next couple of days. Obviously, that next cold front comes in Saturday, Sunday, bringing cooler air and clearing out all that cloud coverage. Going to see plenty of sunshine over the weekend. Early look into next week, temperatures still pretty comfortable outside, but start to warm back up into those mid to upper 80s. So as we get closer towards the actual first day of fall, we're going to start noticing these cooler, uh, cooler days back around temperatures around those upper 70s up to the low 80s. Few days in here still mixed in with those mid to upper 80s. 80s. Overall, the message is, is that temperatures are about to get cooler as we get closer towards the middle of September, towards the end of September. I'm 5 News Meteorologist Stephen Elmore. That's your 5 Plus Extended Forecast.